for the advanced Excel. Yeah. When you look at the program for the advanced Excel, these are the key things that you should be able to understand. So what I'll do, I'll come and design yeah. here. The dashboard that I'll be using, I'll just highlight the four cells here. Yeah. After highlighting, I can just fill my color here that I want to apply it. And in this case, also I can create a border. For border, I just click here, and then I select the border. Like yeah. that. Once I do, maybe the last year, I can also change it. So maybe I want to use this kind of dashboard here to find my values in this formula. So what I'll do, I'll just click here, the number of vehicles, number of vehicles, this, number of vehicles. After typing here, now I can say the time. So in case I want to find the total here for this kind of vehicle here, what I'll do, I just click here. When I click, I just type equal to sum. So if I type equal to sum, I'll open the bracket. When I open the bracket, I'll go and highlight the values for number of vehicle here. So I highlight this value, I'll just see, close the bracket yeah. like that. Once I, yeah. once I close the bracket, now I press N, enter. So the total be seventeen hundred for the total. Yeah, yeah for the yeah. total number. Now we have some if. Are you seeing mm. something? Yes. Yes. For the sum if now what I'll do, I just click here equal to sum if. Sum if mm. equal bracket here. So for the sum if at first, I'll start with what? I'll start with the type of vehicle here. When I highlight the type of vehicle. I'll put a comma like this. So after that comma now, I'll come and click the cell index where I'll be typing those kinds of vehicles. So when I click the cell index here, I just click it, then I put a comma here. So when I put a comma, I'll come yeah. and highlight the, the values here. Like this. That's how you can do. Then you close the bracket, you close yeah. the bracket. So once you close the bracket, we just hit enter. So if I hit enter, let me type one of the vehicle here. Like you can say no, like that. You see, no, it's 52, 50. And. Yeah, in that case. So what you need to do, when you type equal to some if, you highlight first the names, then you separate yeah. with a comma, you go yeah. and click, you go and click what the cell index. Like our cell index here, we have G6 here. Mm -hmm. G6 is where you'll be typing your names, so you need to specify. Then also I can yeah. you select the range for the number of yeah, vehicles here. Yeah. Select the range for the number of uh, ranges here. So the same to average. Average works like what? Sum. Average works like sum. So what you do is just type equal to what? Average here. After typing equal to average, you put yeah. into brackets, then yeah. you come and highlight. Highlight. Yeah, mm -hmm. Then you close the brackets. You hit enter. You will find the average of those vehicles. Those vehicles. Now we have average if. Average oh. if works like what? Sum if. Average okay. if works like sum if. So when you click here, you just type what? Equal to average, average uh, if. When you type equal to average if, you open the bracket. Now you come and highlight this. Eh? You will yeah. highlight. After highlighting now, you put a comma. A comma. Now you click where you'll be typing the names here, like this. Then you put a comma. After putting comma, now you'll highlight also this one for this. Then you can close the bracket, close the bracket here. So once you close like that, you just hit what? Enter. So you are seeing div stroke zero. This means the value you are dividing is null. So for you to make it active, I'll come and click here. I type my value. Like for example, I want to average for boxing. I type the boxing, then press N, press enter. So the average vehicle for boxing, it is 925. Yeah, yes, like that. Now we have also another thing which you call it count. Count is used to count the numbers. Count is used to count the numbers only. But if you want to count the the type of vehicle here, which is text form, mm -hmm. use count, mm -hmm. you'll be able to use count, count here. Yeah. So if you click here, you just type equal to count. After typing equal to count, you will highlight, 
You will open the bracket. Now you highlight the vision like this. After highlighting, you close the bracket. You close the bracket. So once you close the bracket, automatically you can hit enter. Yeah. You see how many vehicles? There are 19 vehicles. Eh? Exclusive of the formula row. Exclusive of the formula row. So we have 19 vehicles, which are what? Right? Uh, we have counter. Counter is the same. You just type equal to count. Counter like that. Then you put into the bracket. You come and highlight the names like this. Now you close the bracket, hit enter, 19. So if you interchange those formulas, they will not be able to apply. So each formula applies using different criteria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For count, we have said count is used to count what? The numbers, mm -hmm. but numbers. count. Counter is the type. For the text, format, okay, okay. type of yeah, type of yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have okay. count. count blank. It count blanks in the spreadsheet. For example, if I can copy paste this one, I just copy, then I paste it here. Yeah. So after pasting, I can delete some few records here. Like in this case, I can just delete these ones. So after deleting, now I come and count how many blanks are these, how many blanks are in this one, say, or this color. So what I'll do, I just click here. Mm -hmm. Then I type equal to count. If I type equal to count, mm -hmm. I'll put into bracket account blanks first. You type count, blank, like that. Mm -hmm. Then you put into bracket like this. Now after yeah. putting bracket, you come and highlight the column like this. So after highlighting, you close the bracket, you hit enter. So there are many. Seven. Yes. So you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So that's how we use count blanks. Count blanks is used to count null values, the empty cells that are in a specific seven. color. For now, no. we have count if. Someone talk about count if it counts specific ranges. It yeah. counts specific. Ranges. Yes. So in this case, when you put here equal to yeah. count if. if into bracket, you yes. want to count these values eh? here. Yeah. Yeah. But eh, you will put a comma like that. So these values that you are counting, you want only those values that are above 1,000. You want only values that are only above 1,000? 1,000. So what you'll do, you put speech mark and you put greater than 1,000 here, like that. Then you close the speech mark, the speech mark here. Once you close the speech mark, now you'll come and close the bracket like this. Just close the bracket, the bracket. So when you look at the formula, it is showing equal to count if. You specify the range, this range, this is the range. Then you put a comma, you put a comma and you open the speech. After opening the speech mark, you put greater than 1,000. Close the speech mark, close the bracket, close the bracket. So once you do that, you press what? Like that. So the values that are above 1,000, they are seven. They are seven here. Let, let us count, we see. One, two, three, four, five. There are. Above 1,000, it means what? It starts from 1,001. So 1,000 will not be included. 1,000 will not be included. Included. Okay. If, yeah, if it's more than 1,000, it starts from 1,001. So that's why we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven. Uh, we have something which we call it a rank. Rank is used to rank values. For example, if I want to rank the performance, you can just run using what? The run formula yeah. here. So in this case, let me just insert some column here. I just insert some column here. Like that. So for you to do so, you come and write your rank. Yeah. Mm. After writing rank, I come and click here. But before I write rank, let me copy paste these values here so that you can be able to see uh, very well. 
this. If I copy paste now and, and use round formula. So for round, I type equal to round, like that. You put into bracket, into brackets. Yeah. After putting into bracket, you come and use the first reference value here, yeah. which is the first index value for this column. Then yeah. you put a comma, a comma. Now you come and highlight again from the first point here, like that. After highlighting, you can put a comma, then you specify. When you look at this drop down list, you will see zero is for descending, one is for ascending. ascending. So if you want to arrange in ascending, you will put one. Yeah. If you want to arrange yeah. in descending, you put what? Yeah. 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 So let me put one, like yeah. that. Then I close the bracket. Right. The bracket. But now these values, you need to anger them. You need to anger them. So what you do, you'll put the dollar sign here. You just click. Then you put what? Dollar sign. So for you to put a dollar sign, a sign, you'll press shift and the four. Shift, shift and, and four. four. Yes. Four. Then here, shift and four. When you mm -hmm. click here again, it will be shift mm -hmm. and four. This one also oh, this. shift and one. Mm -hmm. oh, like that. You see the way I have anchored those values? Yeah. Yeah. Once they are done, you hit mm -hmm. enter like that. Mm -hmm. So you will come and you draw brackets. You see, it has arranged in what? Ascending. Ascending. Yeah, let me try now. Assume this one is 300. This one now. I want to see if it's talking the truth. So if I want to see where will be one, one is the smallest value where it is. So let me put a smallest value in between these ranges. Eh? I can say 300 like that. You'll see it will change. It change. It will change. We have yeah. changed one. This is two. And if I put here maybe 10,000, let me see. If I put it 10,000, mm -hmm. like that, let me see how will it, what will happen. It will be number 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Reason? Yeah. It's more than this one. Yeah, it changed. Yeah. Yes. So in that case, even when I put here 3,000, mm -hmm. that. You see? It will be number 18. Yeah. So that's how you can be able to use rank. And rank is very simple as that. You type equal to rank into bracket. You put a F2, which is the first yeah. reference value. That's valid. I never yeah. Yes. Then you put a comma. Now you highlight the records here. After highlighting yeah. the records, you'll put a, a, a comma. Um, then you can select descending or ascending. 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 So remember, ascending it was one, and descending it was zero, ascending it was yeah. one, it was one. So when you put one, you close the bracket, and then you hit enter. Automatically, you get what you want, what you want. Yeah. So that's how we apply rank here. That's how we rank. apply the rank. rank. Now, we have things concerning VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP is used to look at vertical values in a given spreadsheet. Vertical values in a given spreadsheet. So let me, value. Yes. Let me just create another worksheet here so that you can see. Just click here. We just click here. After clicking, let me type some values here, like name. Then we have department. By typing department, you can say a salary. Then we have age. Age. That address. So once you do so, now you come and click here. You can type some few names like red, green, yellow. Those are names of individuals in that company. Like yeah. So once you're done, now you come and type departments. You can say computer. 
ได้ได้ดีก่อนที่จะไปเข้าไปนะเนี่ยเรื่องเข้า also maybe accounts เรื่องเข้าเงินจ้าเงินจ้า salaries you can say fifty thousand you can say seven thousand twenty thousand like that so you can just drag it in that case Uh, age should have that four, seven, four, four, five, five. When you draw this, make it consistent. Actually, you can say beer box. A beer box. Your box will have space. Seven, five, five, zero, zero, nine hundred. That. We have. Just copy paste. In this case, you paste, you paste, you paste. So what you do? You just change the numbers and just put six seven six nine six seven six nine six seven nine and so on. So in that case, that's how you can assign the address. Now, in this case, we want to use VLOOKUP. And we look up with here, which we have seen it here. So when you want to use we look up, you just copy this one. You copy after copy, or you right click, you copy. Then you come here, then you select what? You right click. Now you paste special here. When you click paste special, you choose transpose like that. Then you click OK. So when you transpose, When it was a row, it will become a column. That, okay. Yeah. So let us use red as the first reference value. In our red here, we want to apply this one. Uh, we want to apply red to any department here. So it will be equal to red, not equal to red, equal to VLOOKUP, equal to VLOOKUP, equal to bracket. After typing like that, now you you select the cell index for red, which is here. Yeah. A comma. Now you are seeing table array. This is table array. array. Now you come and select everything. After selecting everything, you put comma. You are seeing now column index. The column index, when you look at department, it's under one, two. So it is in. B. So you put two here, then yeah. comma. Comma, if you want it to be true, you'll put one. If you want it to be false, you put this in. zero. So you can put one false in this case here. If we don't find yeah. that value, let it display for false here. Let it display false. Like that. So what are that? You press what? And you'll see computer. Yeah. Now, if you want to look up value for salary, if you want to use it to look up value for salary, what you yeah. do is just type equal to V lookup. Mm -hmm. You look up into bracket. You come and select there. You see, even they are selling you, they are telling you lookup value. Our lookup value is right here. You click. Put our comma, now a table array here. The table array, you come and select this one. Then you put a, com a comma. Now, column index. Our column index now, it will be one, two, three. It will be three. Type three, comma. Now, if it won't find those values, let it display false. So you type what? False. You close what? The bracket. The then we'll hit enter. We we'll get 5,000. So you see red, it's see 5,000. For H, H now it will be equal to what? We look up. We look up into bracket. Now after typing, we'll choose what? Look up value. Our look up value, our look up value is here, red. 
Yeah. You put a comma. Table array. You come and select this table. You put what? A comma. And then column index. You come and count. One, two, three, four. You see? Column four. Comma. If it's false or true, you display true or false. Yeah. You display false. Right? Then first bracket, repeat and that. So that thing you'll be able to drag it. If you know it now, you can be able to drag, you drag it. So our column five here is the column five. So in this case, when you want to find the address, I just click here equal to VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, then you put into bracket here. Now you want to try to look up for, for that. Right. Then you put a comma. Now you come with a highlight table array like this. Then you put a comma. Column index is one, two, three, four. Five. So you put five, then a comma, then you put what? Four. Yes. Close the bracket. Then you hit F. Yes. So when you hit enter, the address will be seen. So that's why when you also change this one, make it to uh, green. Yeah. Change green to green. The entire values will change. Will it change. change. Yeah. Uh. Seven thousand. Let us make it maybe yellow. So you type yellow, like that, the entire value will check. Will check. So that's how you are able to, to apply this. Now, for hedge lookup, is a bit different. Hedge lookup, you look up, you look up values for what? For horizontal, horizontal values. Okay. To apply hedge lookup, we can use these kinds of values here, in this case. Mm. So in this case, you can copy this one, then you paste it here. You paste, not to paste. Green. So we can easily click to paste special, for example, like that. So this, the names here will be on this side, on this side. Yeah. Remember for H lookup and V lookup. This one at the top became yeah. a column. But now, yeah. if you are doing H lookup, the one for mm. column will become rows. Then, this is in this one. It will become what? Yeah. It will become columns now. Columns, yeah. yeah. So, you come and do the next one. So, if you want to find H lookup for red, yeah. or department here. Yeah. So let us say department, department it was computer. So what you do is just type equal to hedge lookup. Yeah. H lookup. Mm. After typing hedge lookup, you put into bracket here. So you want to look up yeah. department in red. Department yeah. in red. Yes. So when you type department in red, you will click what? Red. The first row from the value which is red, red, red. Yeah. Then you put a comma, you select, select everything. Yeah. Put a comma. Our index, row index, it is row number two. It's yeah. row number two. two. Then you come and put a comma, put a comma. Yeah. So once you do that, now you can be able to do it. You close the bracket, then you hit, hit enter. So in that case, so what we do, that's a minute. Let me just type your computer department, computer PC, computer, and just uh, So I want to look for salary uh, column here, or the green one for this particular given case. If you want to look for green, it will be equal to yeah. Okay. You go to into brackets, into in the head look up, head look up into bracket here. Now for this one, I will come and do what? Select computer. When you select computer, 
you put into bracket here, not computer, you come and select green, the green here, and it's put <laughs> comma. Now you come and what? Highlighted everything here, like that. So once you highlight everything, now in this case, we put our comma, we have our row index here. We have one, two. Guys. But remember, it is three. Yeah. Three. But this one is under uh, finance. Finance. So it is in three. So once you put it three, now you come and what? You put comma, you put four. But you can close the bracket here. It's not showing here. So column index. So we have one, two, three. Then our department. Department, it is showing you. Okay, we are working for department. Remember row. Department here, when you look at green, it should be horizontal. Horizontal, yeah. So, department hmm. is here. Then we have green. Green, it's here. So, for you to locate it, <laughs> let me just rearrange it correctly so that you can check on it. So, in this case, the one for this one, we need to assign it to the horizontal. Oh, horizontal. This one. Let us make it to the vertical here. Not the vertical. You can right click, you paste special, and then you select this and transport. From then on, after showing the department, salary, age, and so on, now we have also uh, this one. Which you need to put it in this way, also special. Then you select like this. So for this one, if you want to find a department for rent, yes. Yes. department for rent, it will be equal to, let us I repeat again, H look up. H look up into brackets. After showing H lookup into bracket now under department here, our red is in column. Department we have it here. So this is one, then we have you see red is here. So when we look at red, see in yeah. this case we have said red, it is in row. Then the department, it is in color. So in this case, it will be, let us say for computer or for red, where we have red here, yeah. then we well, put yeah. our comma. Then you can be able to highlight. highlight. After highlighting, we can put our comma also. We want to find the column index for red. The row index for red. So for row index for red under department, it will be number two. Then comma, you can also put it for uh, false in this case. Still not applicable. Then it's applicable. Let us try it here. Just a minute, smart. Sorry. 